cardial cerebral resuscitation. We're doing a hands-only CPR. We're here today to join uh, Tempe Union High School, Tempe Union High School students, uh, Tempe St. Luke's Hospital, and Tempe Firefighters in teaching cardio cerebral resuscitation, a life skill that can help impact the health and safety of the community. Put your heel in the middle of their chest, pull your fingers back off their chest with the other hand, get your elbows straight, shoulders over, use your body weight, two inches in depth, 100 times a minute. That's it. The hands only, pressures in the chest, we're no longer doing the airway part helps people get to the emergency rooms quicker with circulation going more to their brain and their heart, which in turn gives them a shorter hospital stay, they recover quicker. They were doing studies on what actually are the benefits of doing compressions versus ventilation. They were doing these in labs at U of A Medical School. And what they found out was the more we interrupted compressions, the less actual tissue perfusion actually went on and helped the brain and the heart stay viable. Council members Robin Arredondo Savage and Joel Navarro approached Dr. Baca, our district superintendent, about the possibility of piloting a CCR program in the Tempe Union High School District. Dr. Baca felt that uh, Tempe High School was a natural fit. Uh, we hit all the high schools. We tried to educate pretty much everybody throughout all the Tempe High Schools to have this skill set. Um, it's a great partnership um, for everybody. It's an advantage for everybody. It's an advantage for our, our fire department and our hospitals. We even started at Tempe High. We're going to uh, McClintock, Marcus, and these. We're hitting every high school in Tempe. The staff members at Tempe St. Luke's are all participating in the training of all these students. And the hospital is super excited that we can go ahead and move forward and do good things in the community. Having a CPR class because you're watching children is excellent. It's just that we don't want you to deny you the opportunity to know this life skill in the meantime. CCR in the community is really the first piece of this giant puzzle that we have to get people aware of it. Don't just stand there and look. Teenagers, adults, high school students, senior citizens can do hands-only compressions on people that look like they've had a heart attack. It's important that the students learn CCR for several reasons. First of all, we teach our students to be responsible, caring citizens in the community and knowing CCR, our students will be able to help victims in need throughout the city. Uh, secondly, because we are a high school, uh, there are many times that our high school students are put in the responsibility uh, or given the responsibility of caring for their younger brothers and sisters or even uh, some elderly uh, family members. And knowing CCR makes them feel a lot more comfortable as they Work, uh, as they work to keep their families safe. We, we want you to have the skill to be able to pass on to the other members of your family, right? To teach them that you can do this, they can do this. Either when we hear the patients have come in, they've already had bystander CCR, we know that that patient's got a 50% better chance of survival. That gives us hope. That could be your uncle, your aunt, your grandma, or a friend that you love. We at Tempe High are so proud that over 1,000 students have been trained in the CCR process and are going to be able to apply these skills whenever they need to throughout the city, in their homes, wherever they may roam.